Good night, everybody. Uh, for those who didn't hear quite well, my name is Daniel Davis. Um, I'm going to have an accent, so please bear with me. Um, so, yes, I'm going to talk to you guys about regenerative uh, laser treatment um, and when to use it. So I want to start with the basics, like what are the laser and what can you use it for? Um, as you can tell, this is one example that we're not going to use it on your horses, of course. So for those of you who thought that this laser was going to be able to treat your hairy problems, this is not it. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, laser. For those of you who didn't know, um, laser is actually an acronym, which surprisingly I didn't know until very recently. So laser basically stands as light amplification by stimulated emissions of radiation. In other words, it's just any device that uh, creates or produces a highly directional light, like uh, uh, the different types. So laser basically uh, divides in different classes. These classes are depending of how powerful they are and how dangerous they can be to your, to your eye, to exposure to your eye. So we have class number one here which is the ones that you usually see on and, um, microscopes and telescopes. You can actually see them as long as you want, and they have pretty minimal or to no uh, injury to your eye. Class two uh, lasers are the ones that like, I have here, which have um, uh, the laser pointers that they do carry a little bit of um, danger to your eye, depending on the exposure. And when we talk to uh, laser uh, three and four is when we talked about the actual laser that is used in medical, uh, not just in veterinary medicine, but also in human medicine. I'm sure of you, some of you uh, have seen lasers before. Um, I'm sure that you're very aware of the class three is very used in small animal to treat uh, wounds and very superficial injuries. Uh, the difference between these two is the, the, the potency that they have. Um, while class four can be up to 500 milliwatts to 15,000 milliwatts, which is a lot of a very powerful uh, laser. Uh, class three only gets up to 500 milliwatts. And to give you some perspective, laser uh, class four is the ones that are usually uh, the technology or the ingredients of the, of the laser class four are the ones that you use in surgical procedures. The ones that they use in, um, you know, for cutting and writing uh, some of the tissue during surgical procedures. So. And I would love to get more into it, but I only have five minutes, so sorry. Uh, basically, what I'm going to talk about here real quick is to, just to give you a, a brief, what is a laser? What does a laser do? And laser basically does three things. The first thing th that it does is that it increases the blood circulation. So when you apply it over a specific uh, area or a spot, it causes vasodilation. For you that don't remember what that is, it's just it makes the, the blood vessel a little bit thicker, so it transports more blood into the area. Number two, it promotes oxygenation. This is, this is done by um, uh, when you put the laser over a specific area, the, um, this laser interacts, this light interacts with the hemoglobin. And for, you, for, for those of you who don't remember, hemoglobin just is the one that carries the oxygen. So brings more oxygen to the area. And three, it produces a metabolic stimulation by stimulating these cells to create energy, or ATP. This energy is going to be used for um, this inflammatory, anti-inflammatory cells to act on this specific area. But then you would say, hey, this is, isn't this what this, the body will do by itself? And the answer is yes, this is exactly the, what the body would do. So what's the difference? Class four uh, lasers, like this one that we have right here, have um, uh, this um, settings, but also um, affect the extra cellular uh, matrix. And when I talk about extracellular matrix, I could go deeper into it, but it basically it, it, it affects these dormant cells that are on the sheath surrounded by this tissue, either a tendon or a ligament, and tell them, hey, let's act quicker, let's act faster, because we need to heal this up. So I'm going to talk a little bit more specific to, so you guys can understand why is this good or not. So in a study done by Brian Stevens, a PhD, that um, want to focus on, on, on laser treatment, uh, basically on ultrasound images uh, where he literally put a control, um, did a control study on horses where he did um, cause an injury in one of the tendons in one of, uh, one, uh, one of each horses. 
sorry, on, on the tendons of each horse, and then one of these legs was treated with laser and the other one wasn't on several horses. Now, the, the one thing we need to make sure here that you guys understand is that every single horse after having a, 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 an injury goes, is gonna go through these two phases. The first phase is the inflammatory phase that you all know, and the second phase is the re regenerative phase or the remodeling phase of this injury. So this size, for, so for you to can follow me, is the percentages of how thick or how big the tendon gets. And on the, on the one below is the weeks that it takes to go back to normal. So in the control study, they realized that um, they all go to a peak level on the inflammatory phase where the horses that had no lace treatment go out, went up to the four to five weeks. And then it starts going down into a, in, in a remodeling phase or regenerative phase um, that it takes a little longer. So if you notice at this chart, you will see that the, the inflammatory phase goes up pretty quick. So it's about 1.36% of increment on size per week. And in contrary, like how fast it goes up, it actually goes down pretty slow, about 0.6% uh, uh, of, of size decrease per week. Now, you remember those, those, those numbers, specifically this, five weeks. They did the same thing with the horses treated with laser. And they realized that not only the time in general gets lower, but each phase goes a little bit quicker. So they realized that the, the inflammatory phase goes down to three weeks instead of five. So we, we, have, a, we have an increment of, uh, sorry, we have a decrease of, of time of getting to up to that peak level where the inflammatory phase has to finish. And also the peak starts going down in an even higher rate, 0.7%. So if we go back to, the, to, to, to where we had started, using the laser, they realize that there's a 76% improvement or, or as far as uh, speed and, and, and changes of the tendon, and not only decrease the time, but on, also you know, save you the, 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 the time and money of using something else. So going back to the original question, what are the as should indications to use the laser in this case? There are several. Um, um, you can see it here. Mainly, uh, this I've the, personally I've used it for for tendon and ligament injuries. Part of it is because it's the one of the most frustrating things to treat. And I think you all know about the sport medicine. When you have a ligament or a tendon that is injured, it takes a really long time to treat. Um, it, it helps in soft tissue swelling because it has anti-inflammatory factors. Um, it helps to reduce scar tissue through, uh, after uh, surgery, such as tenoscopies or fasciotomies. It's really used to get back that fiber alignment that I have here. So it just not only heals it, but it also makes it sure that it's going to heal properly. Um, like the other lasers, it helps with, um, with every open wound that we need to let it heal. Um, sore backs, SI joints, muscle soreness. Um, it has a certain, a certain amount of level of um, analgesia, and, and it, this is something that uh, we, you can actually see um, after, um, after treating a horse that it feel, feels better. Um, obviously, this, doesn't, this is not something permanent, it just lasts a little longer. Um, you can use it also for arth uh, cases of uh, arthritis. Um, this, this, this kind of laser has the, the, the effect to create uh, co uh, collagen, collagen, sorry. Um, it can be helped to be used on initial stages of laminitis, just to help that you know, vascularization get back on that foot. Um, it can be used, it's one of the things that, that is very new, as a pre or post performance, either for racing or jumping. Um, and when I say use it, is because you can, you can prepare your horse for this. So you do it three or two days before actually competing or showing, whatever, and you're like shielding this area you're preparing this, this horse that we know that has had in the past a cuffing joint problem or a high suspension injury, and you're just helping him that he's going to be ready for that impact. And most important of that is that it's legal. So if you go in the USCF website, you can see that this product is legal to use. You can use it, and there's no problem like other ones. So basically, it's, we're talking about a, pretty much a head-to-toe kind of uh, deal. It's very easy to use. The machine that we have is portable. And right now, it's um, one of the only ones that is actually proves that regen regenerates the actual tissue, not just uh, causes therapy, but it also regenerates it. 
Uh, there's no need for sedation, as you can tell here. This horse is on cross ties. It's really easy to use. The horses like it. It can be done at the farm. Um, it can be done actually by technician. At the end of this, this whole thing, what the laser wants to do is just to create or to, or to be better, shorter, and stronger healing for your horse. I guess.